Hey, I'm Cam, and today I'm reviewing the new Everyday Carry Tourniquet by Snake Staff Systems. Now, if that's not a cute little tourniquet, I'll tell you what. All right guys, so I'm really pumped about this video. I've been very excited about this tourniquet. I finally got to get one in my hands. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, these have been very highly anticipated. Um, this product has not been out for a very long time, but uh, people have been going pretty nuts for them. Uh, I think they go on sale like once every week right now, Fridays at 12 p.m. and they're gone like in a minute or two. Uh, so I was lucky enough to get uh, one for myself and one for my buddy. So I'm just basically doing a very short uh, first impressions video today now that I actually have the product in my hand and not only that but this is going to be replacing the current uh, tourniquet that I wear every day on my little ankle kit here so this is a ankle kit that I got from uh, Dark Angel Medical and it is uh, comes with a soft T tourniquet and we'll go ahead and look at the size difference so I'm gonna go ahead and put that uh, trauma kit there. I've got some other videos on that. I'll probably end up doing another updated video on what I actually carry in the uh, ankle kit and why that's important to me. But let's go ahead and look at a size comparison there. So uh, the soft T tourniquet is definitely a lot uh, heavier. It's bigger, it's wider, um, it's obviously less comfortable to wear, it takes up more space on my little kit there. So this guy is going to be replacing it which is very exciting. I think this thing is really cool and it's got some really neat features. So for those of you who uh, aren't aware, so this is just how it came um, shipped from the factory. So I'm gonna be figuring out the best way to stage it. I think they've got a couple of videos on their site and on YouTube as far as that goes. So it's got some standard features as far as windless tourniquets go, right? So it's got a windless, um, it's got a pull tab, it's got Velcro, so we'll be tightening up around the limb with the actual Velcro. Um, I'm not gonna be tightening the windlass in this video because it has a little chem light that breaks and activates when you actually turn it. Um, so since this is gonna be going on my everyday carry, I don't want to be wasting that, if that makes sense. So once I'm able to get one or two more of these and use them as actual trainers, then I will be putting them to real use. Um, so the cat tourniquets, uh, the, these soft tourniquets just have a little clasp here to actually hold the windlass in place. The cat tourniquets have that little kind of clasp thing and they also have a piece of Velcro that goes over. But I really like this idea of a snap and lock um, carabiner. I think that was pretty brilliant on these guys part. It's really easy and you don't have to, uh, all you gotta do is just push it in and, it's, and it locks right in which is a really cool idea. And then you know it's not going anywhere. Um, you know, the old, the cat tourniquets had a piece of Velcro across that said time on there and you could write with a Sharpie on there, but there wasn't a lot of space and it wasn't really the best material to write on with a pen anyway. So, um, I think that this is a really cool little upgrade. Um, you know, if I'm going to be applying a tourniquet to somebody or even myself and using a Sharpie, more than likely I'm just going to be writing it on the limb or even on the person's face if I have to, if it's not very obvious where that tourniquet went. Uh, as far as you know the width goes obviously this is a lot thinner this is like an inch wide as opposed to this soft tourniquet which is anywhere from an inch and a half to up to two inches wide here um, where the actual you know windlass locks into place so this guy's a lot bigger and even these soft tourniquets are still smaller than the cat so I really like the size I mean that really honestly is the biggest draw to this product they called it their everyday carry tourniquet and they called it that for a reason because that is what this thing is meant to be used uh, for, right? Um, tourniquets, that's kind of the main problem I, that I see with, with people is that a lot of people don't want to carry medical all of the time because there's not really a very comfortable and good way to do it per se. I don't mind the, the ankle kit at all. I carry it every single day everywhere I go. Um, but I think that this is an awesome improvement that is going to uh, have people be a lot more likely to want to carry medical on their person because this guy you can place anywhere right I mean I can place this these are my vertex uh, my vertex delta stretch pants and they have an awesome little pouch here where I keep my spare mag and this guy would very easily go in there so if I 
uh, decided that I didn't want to carry this on my ankle or maybe I didn't want the rest of the medical stuff and maybe I just wanted to carry a tourniquet, as long as you have some pants that are built for it and have some of those extra pockets, you could very easily slip it in there. If you're carrying a jacket, you could put it in your little coat pocket there and you wouldn't even notice it. As long as you, of course, remember that it is in there and if you need it, you remember that that's there and kind of practice and train that muscle memory. But there's something to be said about everyday carry and keeping things comfortable and not um, over and cumbersome, right? So, so, so far, I really like the feature of this, pro this product. I'm really excited to actually test it out and apply it to myself feel the pressure, um, you know, all that cool stuff. Uh, I need to, like I said, I need to figure out exactly how I'm going to stage this thing, but we'll go ahead and throw it up on my arm and just feel how the Velcro is. So already that windlass is locking tight. Okay, so cool. Um, I don't want to actually turn the windlass because like I said, I don't want to break that um, that chem light, but just by tightening up that Velcro, it's just like a cat tourniquet. It's very easy to use. And to be honest with you, that's one thing that I like about uh, the cat tourniquets and this style more than the soft is that I like the Velcro. I think the Velcro is very easy to use. It holds in place fine. Um, so, so I'm actually kind of pleased to see that that's the, the method that they went for that. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty simple device. The last thing I will mention is that this guy does have a QR code on the actual tag, which I think is a good idea. Um, you know, people who maybe aren't familiar, and it's got some basic instructions, so people who maybe aren't totally familiar with how to apply a tourniquet, that could possibly be helpful. Um, I will say that, you know, in a very stressful situation, the last thing that you want to do is be trying to learn how to do a new skill when somebody you care about or maybe even a stranger is basically dying right in front of you and you're like freaking out uh, the last thing that you want is to try to learn how to use some sort of a tool or piece of equipment so while i think that this is very cool that they put that on the tag i would highly highly recommend that you guys get out there and get some medical training even if you take a basic first aid cpr class uh, i'm a first aid cpr instructor with american heart association and they have added stop the bleed and some bleeding control stuff into their basic first aid classes now, which is really cool. Um, I wish that it didn't take them so long to do that, but now that's becoming the new standard. So when I teach my first aid CPR classes, I am going over with people briefly, but I'm teaching people how to apply tourniquets, how to use an Israeli dressing uh, bandage and what chest seals do, all that cool stuff. So. It's cheap, they're like 75 bucks. Some places you can even find them for 50 bucks. Uh, everyone should get that training. In my opinion, I think that, you know, high schoolers, every teacher in the nation, um, that should just be a mandatory class. I don't know why it's not, it's kind of crazy. Um, but that being said, me and what my company is all about, and what I hope that you guys are about is let's be those, those individuals who are trained up, who are willing and able to help in these situations and these emergencies and let's kind of be that shining example. And then that way too, we can also inspire others so that eventually we get to the point where, you know, when an uh, emergency happens anywhere out in public, we have several people who are willing and able and trained to help instead of 20 people gawking and, and recording and maybe one person helping, right? So I think that would be an awesome goal that we could all collectively get to. And it's very doable. Uh, a lot of this stuff is really not hard. It's not that complicated. It just takes a little bit of training and, um, and again, that willingness to help and be able to operate and work under pressure. And you know, some, some people are better than others at that and that's not a big deal. But the most important thing is that we're able to do something when emergency happens as opposed to just sitting around and like I said, recording or gawking or God forbid screaming, <laughs> you know, like some people do. Um, I get that that's a response, but it doesn't really help that much, so. Um, once again, snake staff systems, everyday carry tourniquet. I'm going to be picking up some more of these so that I can do some more testing and I can have them, you know, staged in some of my other kits. I think this is a really cool device. Uh, these guys, you know, didn't pay me to make this video or anything. I bought this with my own money because I really wanted it to carry and I also was really excited about this product. I think it's really cool. Um, so go ahead and check them out. 
Uh, check out their socials and their video. They've got some really nice videos. Their promo video for this product was very impress uh, impressive. I thought it was really neat, um, and they did a really good job of showcasing all of those features of this thing. And like I said, at least right now, it looks like they're going on sale at uh, 12 p.m. on Fridays, uh, 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, so go ahead and double check that and verify it. Don't take my word for it, but go ahead and snag you one. The best part is these are the same cost as a standard uh, tourniquet. These are like 35 bucks. Um, you know, if you get two of them, by the time they're, they're shipped, they're like 35 bucks each, which is very, very re reasonable, um, which is really cool. And I think it's going to make you guys a lot more likely to want to carry this device, especially on your person, which is where we need it, right? Because if we have medical in our car and then we go inside to the grocery store and something happens where somebody cuts themselves accidentally and now they're bleeding out of one of their arteries, uh, I promise that you're not going to have time to go run out to your vehicle and grab that stuff and come back in. The absolute better choice would be to have this thing on your person, whether it's on an ankle kit, it's in a jacket pocket, it's in your pants pocket, whatever it may be, it needs to be ready to go and so do you. Thanks for tuning in.